Hello everyone, welcome to SMA Vlog. I'm Shahid. Today I am at Capilano Suspension Breeze Park area and today we are going inside and in this video I'm going to share all our experiences in that park. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video and be with me till to the end. If you guys are new to this channel, you can consider to subscribe this channel and if you have already subscribed this channel, welcome back. I have lots of things to share with you guys. So let's go and enjoy the video. Capilano Suspension Breeze Park is a wonderful place where there are lots of breezes on the top of the trees from one place to another and in order to enter into this park you need to buy the ticket online. Before they used to sell this ticket by the main gate but now they stopped that and you have to buy the ticket from their website and book your time. You have to come here according to your time and enter directly into the park. They have a limited parking spot where I am standing right now. I recommend you come just a little bit like half an hour early and you can park here very easily. But they also have shuttle services and that shuttle pick up visitors from different spots at downtown. If you go to their website you will find all the detail about their pickup locations and everything. So let's go inside. We have entered the park and this is the main entrance. After you enter the park, you will find a nice place to take a picture with the name of this place. And after that, there is a information center behind me. If you need any information, you can go there. So we are here and if we go this path, then the totem poles are here. And then I think first we should go here, the cliff walk, and then cross the bridge. Because if we cross the bridge and go the other side, then you need to come back for the cliff walk again. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so I think let's go there first and we'll be back from here and then we'll cross the bridge and go on that side of the bridge. Yeah. That's a very good idea. Let's do it. This place basically started from 1889 and from that time they are providing this adventure to the visitors. I think it's going to be an awesome place. So let's hang around and explore. So now first we are going for the cliff walk and then we will come back here and we will go straight on the other side. From here we can see the breeze over there. This is the main suspension breeze which this place is famous for, Capilano suspension breeze. So let's go. This is the totem pole area. After you enter the park just take the right hand side and you will find the totem pole area. These are the totem poles. You can see behind me there are three totem poles standing here. Okay. Other than that, this whole area is about the totem poles. Now we will go inside and explore more totem poles. Here we can see a dragon put his tongue outside. So we just crossed the totem pole area and now we are heading to the cliff walk. When I just came here, I can smell barbecue in front of me because there is a wonderful restaurant inside. Let's take a look.
now we are heading towards the cliff walk so let's go They made a structure or the walkway on the cliff of this mountain. It's a little bit scary but not that scary too. Now I have arrived to the other corner of the cliff walk. It was really amazing and you can see behind me this structure is standing on this side uh, by the mountain. It's hooked up with big wires. It's really interesting. Now I'm going top. Now I'm heading up. The walk was really amazing. You can see different views from here. The river is flowing in the bottom. Other than that, from here you can see the entire rainforest and also, you know, some scary looks as well. It's very nice. If you go for clip walk, you need to be prepared uh, for a long walk. You have to first walk through the cliff and then you have to come back on top of it. So it's a long walk and I become tired now. So guys, right now we are at the Capilano suspension breeze. So this is the Capilano suspension bridge. Now we are going to enter into this bridge. So let's go have some patience and be brave. So this is the famous Capilano suspension bridge. It is safe, but it's shaking. It's shaking. Oh my God. This bridge is shaking, you know. So everybody is behind me. You can see everybody. This is the Capilano suspension bridge and this bridge is really shaking wow you need to be very brave to come here it's really amazing <laughs> it gives a uh, good feeling here i'm just trying to scare you guys it's not scary at all you just need to have some patience if you have any problem don't look down just walk you guys made it it's really shaky it is You can see guys this breeze is really shaking you know but you need to have some balance on your body so that you can walk with the trust and confidence and you can cross the breeze very easily. Yeah. 
so we made it guys it's very easy to come And I got ice cream for you. Yay! <laughs> you like this ice cream? Yeah. Okay. I'll take the first. Oh my god, it is sticky. Okay, guys. This is the first bite. Oh my god. Is it good, I am? Yeah, it tastes really good. It's caramel and vanilla. Oh my god. So we got an ice cream for Ayan and it's really good but it's a little bit pricey but it's okay because you are, you are having this ice cream in this place, it's really amazing. Now we are heading towards tree top adventure that starts from here it's a basically board walk between the trees and now we are heading inside this is the way to enter this tree top board walk area so guys this is the tree top adventure area you can see those uh, walkways uh, among the trees so people are walking from one tree to another with this tree top board work they have a circular platform in each of the trees so that they can stand there spend some time take some picture and move towards the next one It's a very big tree and you know this tree is so big let's try to grab this tree <laughs> oh even i cannot grab a quarter of it it's so big and very very old around thousand years old trees are here very old tree and very strong that's why it is capable to carry the load of those canopies of those boardwalks Now we are going to the tree top area, basically going to the top of the trees and there are canopies there, we can stay on the canopies for a while and then we have to go to the next tree. Guys, you can see this is the base of this uh, breeze, and this tree is holding the load of this breeze. And they just uh, tied the breeze uh, with this tree here.
we have arrived at our first canopy just take a look it's a base on the top of the tree and you can you know stay here relax and then go to the next one through the breeze We are on the second canopy right now on a very a tall tree and this tree is around 10 storage uh, height if you brave I enough like you were scared at if all. you brave <laughs> enough you can <laughs> handle this but it's okay now people are coming behind me so we have to move to the next one so let's go now we are going to the third one you see now i am in the middle of the bridge and I'm scared. Now I'm heading towards the fourth canopy. I'm on the bridge now. So we are actually at a treetop canopy right now. It's like 10 storied high or 12 storied, I don't remember exactly. But it's pretty amazing. One thing I'm noticing, uh, so when we are crossing from first canopy to second canopy, now we are at fourth canopy. So basically we are going up and up. So higher, higher and higher. So now, right now we are on the highest point of the tree. Look uh, at the tree. And the tree is, so is still awesome. so long, but still we are on the top of the tree almost. So that's why this canopy is a little bit shaking. But before we were a little bit down on other canopies, but at that time it was not shaking. So it's a kind of uh, understandable because as, as we went up and up or high and high to the tree, the trees are becoming narrow and it is shaking. At the end, so it's a little bit scary well, over here. All the bridges are already suspension bridges, so they are shaking no matter what. Bridges are suspension bridges, so, so the shaking they, they will shake, it's no normal. Yeah. But uh, when the trees are shaking, it's kind of scary because if you shake this tree more, it, there is a chance of cracking, maybe. Right? Now I am heading towards the fifth canopy. There are in total of, of six canopies here. You are watching the videos. <laughs> Just wait to go home, not now. So it feels like we're in an Indiana Jones movie right now. Wow, but those <laughs> movies are really scary. Yeah, adventurous. Always they try to explore something, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't really explore anything. Yeah. Like we can't, but it seems like we're doing something. Yeah, we are kind of in the middle of jungle, flying from yeah. one tree to one another. One tree to another tree. Like a monkey. <laughs> Not like a monkey. <laughs>
If you have noticed, this tree is really huge. I can't even reach half of it. And it's so tall. That really makes sense that you can make a tree top on this tree. We are getting down from the treetop adventure and now we are coming down. It was really a fun time. We really spent some quality time here. And now we are heading down to the pathway to go to the next adventure. So basically we entered from that way and went to the top of the tree and made a circle from one tree to another. And after that we came down from this way uh, and this is exit only. Where? Basically this is a rainforest full of big and large trees and also some ponds. One of the pond is behind me. Uh, it's a very good looking pond. Especially I find this pond amazing because of its mirror effect. Now we are entering the boardwalk area. From here we have to uh, you know walk on the board and uh, this is also treetop but it's not shaky like this is not a suspension breeze but it's so steady and less scary as well Down. Now we are heading towards the Capilano suspension breeze again. Yeah, so this is uh, how the salmon would develop. Uh, so the numbers down here gives us an idea of how fast that goes. Okay. So it takes about 100 days to go from an egg to a fully developed fish that will just start to grow bigger. Right now, right? Um, and then the stages in between. Um, so most of these salmon would be eaten in these first three stages. Um, where, which, so that's where salmon hatcheries come in and really do a lot of work and because they go out and collect a lot of eggs and then they pretty much protect the salmon in these first three stages and then they release them again when they're fully developed and they can actually swim around and hide for, for things that wants to eat you. Um, the worst part of your life uh, as a salmon I would imagine is this part here because at this point you can see that the eyes big black things there, so the mm -hmm. eyes are actually fully developed right now, uh, so you can see everything, but you can't eat and you can't swim yet. So you're pretty much just sitting there, looking at everything, and there's a lot of things that wants to eat you at that point, so you're just sitting there, it's like, oh no, 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 oh, it only took my sister, right? I was like, oh no, that's not, that. <laughs> so that would suck to be a salmon at that point, right? Uh, so, so, um, it's not actually a lot of salmon that actually make it through their whole life. 
Uh, one female salmon will lay about one million eggs, <laughs> wow. but only about 200 will actually make it through the whole life cycle and make it back to lay their own eggs. Oh. And then again, out of those 200, it's probably only about half of them that are actually females, right? Mm. So it's only about 100 salmon out of a million that will actually potentially get to lay their own eggs. Now we are heading towards the Capilano suspension breeze to go back to the other side of the valley. This whole area is a rainforest and uh, they try to keep the nature so nicely so that you know they didn't make any harm or damage the nature but made the breezes to attract the visitors here. We have successfully made it to the other side. We crossed the bridge. Uh, one tip I want to give you that if when you are crossing the bridge, don't hold to the both sides of the bridge. Just hold one side so that you will have more control on yourself, more balance on yourself. This bridge looks scary, but crossing the bridge is not that scary. So it's good. now we are done at this place i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like this video and also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please go ahead and click the subscribe button and also click the small bell icon so that it will notify you when i upload my next video from this trip that's all for now i hope i will see you in the next one have a good time and have fun bye bye